Today I'm going to show you how to remap your motors in RF1 on the Revolt. Here we have a Revolt and I'm going to do a little whiteboard drawing to show you exactly how to do it. There is going to be a wizard in the future that will automatically do it for you. However, for right now you have to do it manually in the console. So you're going to take this flight controller, the Revolt, and we're going to draw it. The arrow is pointing towards the front of the quad in this case by default. The chips and capacitors, um, all the good components are facing upwards. And you have motor one in the top left hand, motor two in the top right hand, motor three in the bottom right, and motor four in the bottom left. Now, by default in the actual settings, this is the mapping. And in the code, it would it's considered M-U-O-T for motor out. 1 equals 0 because it's the start of an array. So then you have motor 2, M out 2 equals 1, M out 3 equals 2, and M out 4 equals 3. Now if you actually do a dump in the console, you'll see that there's also M out 4, 5, 6, and 7. And I think there might be an 8 as well. But for right now, these are the only ones that uh, we're going to deal with because we're wanting to remap it. So let's say you flip this flight controller 180 degrees on the roll axis so that the flat side is facing up, but the arrow is still pointing towards the front of the quad. This is how I usually mount mine. It's how I mounted mine in the videos. Now, what I would have to do is I'd have to change it because what happens is when you flip it over on the roll axis like that, to go to the flat side, these positions change. But I don't want to wire the signal wires to the old values. Instead, I want to use the closest corner because that's more efficient. So what, I, what, the, what happens is these swap places, you'll have to do the appropriate console commands to be able to swap these. Since these are swapped, you can already kind of see what's going to happen is you're going to swap M out 1 and M out 2 with each other, and then M out 3 and M out 4 with each other. So that gives you, uh, what you'll write in the console is set M out 1 equals 1, set M out 2 equals 0, set M out 3 equals 3, and set M out Messed up on my spelling. M out four equals two. And then you'll write, you'll type save. And this will save it in the console. But what if you want to do it a different way? So let's start over again. Say you want to flip it so that the USB port stays on the same left side. But, but you want the flat side facing up. You flip it 180 degrees and then you rotate it. 180 degrees. So now what would happen is the arrow would be facing down and M1 would be here, M2 would be here, M3 would be here, and M4 would be here, right? We're going to want to swap these for the correct values. So M out 1 swapped with number 4, right? So that would be set M out 1 equals what? 3. So M out 1 equals 3. Set M out 2. It's 2 swapped with 3. So 2 would now be equals 2. Set M out 3 equals 1. And set M out four equals zero. Save. That would be with the USB facing right here instead of uh, right here and the flat side would be up, the arrow would be pointing down. It's pretty simple. That's how you remap them and everything else is just an iteration thereof. If you want to 
going back to square one, and you want, let's say, you want the USB to be towards the rear. So the USB is right here now, or actually it'd be more close over here, right? So if you do that, you're basically shifting everything clockwise or counterclockwise. So this would be here, this would be here, uh, this would be here, and then motor two would be right there. So what you would do for that one is motor one would become motor four, so it would be set M out one equals three. Motor four would become motor three, so it would be set M out four equals two. Motor three would become motor two, so that would be set motor three, M out three equals one, and then motor two would be zero because it would be taking the place of motor one. And then always make sure you do save. You can flip flop it anyway, but this is all you're doing. You're just taking the old values and swapping them for the new values by using these commands in the CLI. It's pretty easy. If you want help with it, you can always contact us on raceflight.slack.com. Um, that's our Slack channel. If you want, you can write it down, and that's the easiest way to do it is just to write it down and then swap it. Thanks for your support for Raceflight. I know everybody at Raceflight really appreciates it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you really liked it, please subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, hope you all have a good time flying the Revolt on RF1. It's pretty amazing.